Phantom Ranch, as we know it today and in the past, has been a gathering place for people of all ages to enjoy. Starting out with the ancestral Puebloans about maybe 1060 AD, building their home along the banks of the Colorado River. Then John Wesley Powell in 1869, the cartographers like Francois Mathis in 1902. David Rust started a tourist camp that operated from 1907 till 1919. And then the Fred Harvey Company and Mary Coulter designed the cabins Phantom Ranch in 1922. Initially, they wanted her to call this Roosevelt Chalet in honor of President Theodore Roosevelt. But Coulter, with that characteristic independence, said, no way will that name work. She said, in a place this beautiful, there should be a better name, a more inspiring name. Roosevelt Chalet will not inspire people to come down here. They'll look at a map and see Roosevelt Chalet. They won't have questions about it. They'll, they won't want to come to the bottom of Grand Canyon. Mary Coulter then, she designed her cabins to blend in with the, the surroundings here. She wanted this place to speak for itself. She took stones from Bright Angel Creek to build up the cabins. She wanted them to look rustic. She wanted people to arrive at this place and look at the cabins and feel that they fit in with the nature here of Grand Canyon. She decided then to name her cabins Phantom Ranch. Now this was never a working ranch. She liked the way that those two words sounded together. She liked the name Phantom for the rather romantic image that, that, one, that might evoke in one's minds, the romantic images of ghosts and ghouls. And Coulter took the name Phantom from a nearby creek, about a mile north of the cabins, called Phantom Creek. That early cartographer, Francois Mathis, in 1902, named that. Evidently, he named it Phantom Creek because he couldn't always accurately place it on his maps. That depending on the angle of the sun, Phantom Canyon and Phantom Creek would appear and disappear just like a phantom. Other people like to say that no, Phantom Creek is haunted. Some say by the ghost of none other than John Wesley Powell. And a newspaper from Kansas City wrote in 1922 that Phantom Ranch is named because there is a ghostly figure that veils the mouth of Phantom Canyon. Whatever the reason for the naming of Phantom Canyon, what we can all agree on is that Coulter was right on to name this place Phantom Ranch, that that name has alone has inspired people to experience this place for themselves. That name has done far more for visitation down here, I believe, than Roosevelt Chalet. No matter the influence of that president, Mary Coulter's influence down here has been much stronger 